the British Grand Prix, one of the premier events in motorsport history. Now, when you think the British Grand Prix, you probably think Silverstone, or maybe Brands Hatch, or if you're a bit of an intellectual, you probably think Aintree. But there's one other circuit that has hosted the British Grand Prix, and that is one small circuit situated in Surrey, England, that is almost forgotten nowadays, and that is, of course, Brooklands. Now, Brooklands, if you are unaware, was one of the first, if not the first, purpose-built motor racing circuit built in the world. Now, this circuit was built in 1907, and is unique characteristic of its banked oval, uh, very much aching to uh, in Indianapolis in the United States, uh, which I think was built the year after. I'm pretty sure of that. So, Brick Brooklyn's opened up and it was just a joy. Everyone loved it. Everyone came from miles around to watch motor racing in action because back then it was still very early on in motor racing um, in the well, evolution. And you had cars there that still were only putting out about 70, maybe 80 horsepower. And um, yeah, still very early days, and the circuit lasted right up to 1939 when it closed down because the uh, Royal Air Force wanted to use the land for manufacturing uh, aircraft for the Second World War, and there was an airstrip there as well, so for, um, for attacking and defending the well, British Isles. So, with that, the circuit ceased to exist, and after the war, motor racing did not return to Brooklyn's but now there is a museum so you can go and view plenty of old cars they still do like historic events where they uh, race um, in quotations or demo runs on parts of the old banking if you go there now and I'll put up a photo uh, as well Google map and whatever you can still see plenty of the old circuit and it's credit to the people at the museum that keep this history alive uh, it's a great place that I haven't actually been to. Um, quite surprised I haven't actually been there. But yeah, if you go, you can, like I said, you can still go there. You can still see plenty of the, book, uh, the banking, um, but a lot of it is um, lost to modernisation, uh, such as housing and uh, retail uh, estates and stuff like that. But today we are not here for that. We are here to recreate the first. British Grand Prix, which took place in 1926 and was actually part of the AIACR Grand Prix season of that year, which included the French Grand Prix, German Grand Prix, you know, that kind of thing, a, a very much a predecessor to what we know now as Formula One. Uh, so they'd have seasons, they had um, championship races and non-championship races. Uh, they actually had more non-championship races than they did championship races. Um, but yeah, the first British Grand Prix was not held at Brands Hatch or Silverstone, it was held at Brooklands. And that is what we're going to be doing today. We have a short race coming up, 10 laps, and we're going to be driving the Delage 15S8, a car which won the race at the hands of, let me just check, Robert Sinichal and Louis Wagner. And they beat Malcolm Campbell in the Bugatti 39A over 110 laps, which took them four hours. Yeah, four hours. <laughs> you guys complain about an hour and a half, or maybe even half an hour race on my channel, but back then, four hours. And that's what we're going to be doing today. No, I'm joking. We're only going to be doing 10 laps, and we're going to be using Campbell Circuit, because that is the only one that I could really kind of... Uh, it's the closest resembling. We're not doing the full oval. Uh, purely because the actual race took place on most of the oval, but the start finish straight was used as well. We're not going to be doing that, we're using the Campbell circuit, uh, but I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun recreating this. Most of the grid is filled with uh, Delages, uh, but we have a couple of Bugattis which will have a uh, restrictor on them, so they're sort of slower, closely matching the 39A. So join us as we take a step back into history here at Brooklands. Right guys, welcome to Brooklands. We're here in 1926 and I'm very much excited for this one. Uh, I actually planned it a few weeks ago and I thought, yes, that's a brilliant idea. Let's recreate that race. 
and we're here and we got this wonderful Delage 15 SA this one's made by a nice cup of tea you can find it over a race department and here it looks a lot hello looks a lot different than it does today now there's a building over there you can just about see like some green dome that still exists along the uh, hill climb bit over there which you can just about see where that barn is uh, that still exists there still is uh, hill climb events occasionally taking place here but essentially obviously Brooklyn's as you can see the outer banked oval uh, we'll, we'll see it more when, as we go around uh, most of that still exists and uh, we've got this infield section which is known as the Campbell circuit funny enough that's Malcolm Campbell over there in red helmet and so we go through this uh, right hander under the footbridge and then go up a little bit of a straight and then it's a really tight left hander onto the home banking pass under the members bridge onto the members banking over towards the railway straight where there's a train for some reason just sat on the track and then we go through like a Daytona style infield section when we uh, and then we get back here. So the start and finish straight isn't actually here, it's just beyond this uh, these pit garages just over there. Where those blokes are standing, that's where the actual start and finish straight is. Uh, but you'll see it as we go around. It's a pretty basic mod, but it's still good and I'll leave a link in the description. It's, it's the only one you'll find for uh, Brooklyn's, uh, so it's, uh, it's uh, be grateful that we could do this anyway. <laughs> here, Brooklyn's wonderful, wonderful. It really does make you feel like you're sat here in 1926, ready for the start of the very first British Grand Prix. So, with this thing glumping around, let's get on with this. Okay, let's get underway here, Brooklyn's. Now we're about to go. To a good start here. No contact. Oh, hello. You're gone already. <laughs> That's one way to hit, I guess. But we are away as we head towards. I don't know what it's called, it's called but. Oh, the little drivers get a bit wide, including myself. I did do a lot of practice, of course, stuff I always do. We're right behind Malcolm Campbell, right here, and that's uh, Halford. I can't remember his first name. Gone out, the Englishman. But we're on to the home banking now. That's the members bridge, that still exists and I've seen plenty of photos of the uh, of F1 cars here alongside vintage cars which is pretty awesome actually but we're on to the members banking. Very steep and there's nothing at the top, plenty of drivers going over the top over the years. Oh we've got a break now. And there's a train for some reason. <laughs> Train parts on the little circuit. Oh, there's been a little bit of a crash. I'll see. Oh, and another one. Oh, guys, let's keep it, keep it calm. Let's go on to the infield section, which I'm just going to call Daytona because it kind of reminds me of the infield section of Daytona. Try to keep it tight here because I don't want to hit this bloke on my left. Not too sure who he is. Because when I looked at the names um, before starting this race, I said to myself, oh, I'm not going to remember any of them. But he goes wide. We'll find out in a minute when the pit board shows up. As uh, that's the fork just over there. Kind of want to break for this corner. Or the camber. And that is a lap. And we've got Devo in front and Mui. Oh, going a bit too. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry, Dino. Devo, Dino. <laughs> Let's have a dog called Dino. Passed away about ten years ago. I miss you, buddy. Golden Retriever, just in case you're wondering. We're already up to third. So far, so good. I did kind of. Kill a man, but that's okay. That's the actual star finish straight over there. But these two garages are very side by side. It's pretty awesome, actually. And normally, like I said, we would uh, carry straight on over there. I think onto Wifeleet Banking, that's what it's called. I'm not too sure. 
Well, and they're crushing each other. I don't think the AI is really that good around here, but it's still, still raceable, I guess. I think Devo survived, didn't he? I don't know if we've seen his name pop up. It's a fantastic mod. Look, you've got front wings. <laughs> Years before it's time, I don't, I don't actually think that's what wings. I don't, I don't know what that technical term is. Because I'm rubbish, despite me being a qualified mechanic. Fun fact: my sandbank there, so if you get it wrong, you're into the, into the sand. So yeah, starfish straight's just there. That's where most of the uh, got part of it. Most of the classic motor racing events occur nowadays in the modern world. I'm gonna break out here, don't make the same mistakes twice. So far, very nice. A couple more cars coming uh, a lot slower. Got the large right up my backside. Go on to the home banking, he gets very slow. Let's take advantage of that. I'm going to go high. Probably not going fast enough for this, but we're going to go high for the dramatic effects. Haha! Oh god! You've, you, you have this round. It's time. You won't be so lucky. Fun fact as well, that's not um, region. Uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I've forgotten the word. <laughs> accurate, it's not region accurate. It's, it's, uh, it says Great Western. Great Western, I don't think, operated in this area. So, why the hell? Unless there's a Great Western Railway over there, I don't know. But in the distance, you can just about see the rest of the oval circuit. I think most of that is now housing and industrial estates. And there's actually a Mercedes Centre here as well. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I do want to go here one day. I've seen plenty of the cars that are uh, based here in action elsewhere. Including the uh, Napier Railton, which is an impressive car, which I have got, I have downloaded it, but for some reason it just doesn't work for me. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem where the right rear tyre just won't stop locking up no matter what you do, but let's go in the inside like. Aha, gotcha. Don't know who you are because I keep forgetting to check the pit. But we're second now. Okay. Get behind some name. Uh, Robert. I'm just going to call you Robert. I think I know who you are. Don't go to the left, please. Do you mind? Breaking something here. This thing takes quite a while to so slow down and means break out of this thing, but it's a wonderful piece of virtual machinery. This is a really beautifully made. Mod. I mean, there's even a smudge on my windscreen. Can you just did I see that? I'll move. I'll move away. So if I look closely, it's just like this. Let's do some leaning action. Why not? I haven't done that yet. Yeah, we'll look up there, but that's still. But look at the detail in here. Right? Look at all those pipes and. I can't quite see it yet, it's just gone shadowy. Right. So we're halfway through, second now in the race, and this is uh, Eastern in front. And we've got Benoit Boost. <laughs> Benoit? It's French, so it's probably not. And that's how it's probably Benoit or Benbist. Benbist? 
just like this car, it's probably not de large, it's probably de large. But okay, Aston. It's a battle with the Brits, I'm pretty sure. Because there was only British and French drivers in this race, there's only nine starters. We've got the assault line. We might be able to have this as we head towards the railway straight. Maybe not, side by side. And because I'm a bit of a wimp, I break very early, earlier than him. And uh, Easton takes the lead once again. See, there's a Delage over there, far, far away. It looks like I might. Ooh, didn't mean to do that, but we'll take the lead. <laughs> Can't see him on the mirror, so it's probably still on my left somewhere. Yep, there he is. Seems to be quite a lot faster than me, or had a better launch out of that corner, but uh, we lost the lead again. This is a nice actual battle, I'm enjoying this. Ooh. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm going to raise my fist in anger. Ooh, go. So that's what they do. You can't really do that in modern F1 cars. You can't really... But you can, but no one can really see you. Oh. oh no, I stalled, I stalled. No, 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 no. <gasps> Damn it! Oh no, we survived. Die. No damage. Oh. Thanks, man. Thank you, Campbell. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that, but we did. But, we <laughs> did. I don't think that happened in the race. Got to be honest, but now we've got to push to try and regain that lead. We didn't actually lose too much. That's the leader over there. That's a Bugatti here. It's lean. Lean. When you're wearing VR goggles, or VR headset, should I say, um, the, the goggle portion feels like you're wearing racing goggles. Ooh, what on earth are you doing? Held it, held it, held it. Ooh, it's fine, nothing happened. Oh, that's another mishap for the crash compilation. <laughs> um, how on earth I did not crash into that train that was part of it, I do not know. But Malcolm Campbell, after steaming my race, pointing me in the right direction, has uh, damn near just killed me. Well, nearly killed me. So come on man, I know this circuit is named after you. Or this portion of the circuit, should I say? Not the not the ones, because that's flat. But I come on, give me a rest. Inside. I love the look of your Bugatti though. It looks stunning. It's on. I wonder if they actually had these chats. Don't look up again. No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I'm getting so hyped up in this race that I'm just losing, just trying to go too fast. But we survived again. See, that's these 1920s Grand Prix cars, they're so strong, Zeddy. You could just bash them around, flip them around, and we won't have an issue. The leader's now just entering the railway straight, so yeah, it's looking unlikely we might actually win this one. It's a shame because I had it in my hand. This we went. This my lovely skid marks over there. Uh, three, one or two crash. So then I can, um, you know, get in a couple more positions. But of course, yeah, I've, I've turned damage off because I crash a lot. And that could have been if the video ended right there. But, oh, nice. Trust me, it helps. Hey, 
I'm struggling to keep up with spaghetti now, obviously. It's getting quite away from it, but now I'm just going to catch up to it. Let's not do that again. I should free the brake. It is uh, an open cowboy as well. Aha! Oh, don't you make a mistake now. This is racing. Come on. Let's <laughs> wait for it to accelerate. It wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna cut you off, buddy. Sorry. I need this more than you do. A prize at stake. And here we have the three leaders, two laps to save my Brooklyn's career. Well, my seat for the 1927 season. My bosses have told me if I don't I at least get a podium here, I'll not be retained for 1927. Oh, a bit too deep, a bit too deep. I thought I saw an opportunity there to go through the middle, but uh, no. Leading, the pole leading. Lean, lean, see, leading, lead, leading. And leaning is helping. We're up to third. Can't see the other guy. So it must be weird. Come on, Leonard Delage, speed up. Do it, go, do it, go, do it. Sorry. Of course, second now, I thought we were going to go sideways for the uh, exit there, but here is a single hit, and that was uh, Muriki. I'm really sorry for butchering these names, I know I am. Really sorry, especially to any French viewers. I do apologise. My French is terrible, to be honest. Right, can we take the lead? We're just about there, but he's going to come back at me. I'm sure. Oh, not quite literally. I thought he was going to take me out. Eh? Like I'm not going through this again. <laughs> oh, this is why Brooklyn is terrifying. It's not so bad here, but when you're at Full velocity, terminal velocity go around his oval. When that happens, it is just terrifying, I'll tell you that. It's happened quite a few times. Not really deep there. Not by choice, must have been. I keep with him. Does this thing have a hook? I can't remember if it does or Leaning, deploy leaning. My neighbours can see me right now. <laughs> in fact, I did try a, a vehicle. But, well, it was a bike. I tried to bike for the first time in set of Corsa. And, uh, yeah, basically, in order to feel good, I kind of had to lean with the steering wheel and sort of sit really weirdly on my chair, sort of lean away from it. Uh, I must have looked really strange but here we go oh no I've done it again no 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 please 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 no oh god what's happening what's happening it's fine <laughs> oh dear how am I still in the lead it's a last lap showdown it's Hamilton Verstappen but it's Palmer and Easton this time I think Easton was robbed. Yes, he was. No, no he isn't. I've won it. <laughs> Nothing to see here, guys. I, I, you did not see an accident. That's just basically, you know, pit stops? Well, essentially, that's how a pit stop, stop, pit stop would be achieved. Answer to a True story. 
but obviously this being a set of course we don't see the wheels like flying off if that's what would happen you'd sort of do that flip and then the wheels would just fly off and pit crew catch it I don't see I'm mimicking the actions and I keep letting go of my steering wheel but oh, I've got loads of cars behind me I've really got to be careful me, me like I've never leaned into before See, look, they're miles away. They're leaning the other way now. Look at that pipe work. What? Oh god. Didn't lean enough. But, a couple more corners here at Brooklyn. We almost get sideways. That's one way to win here at Brooklyn. 1926 British Grand Prix is over. Wow, I had fun that one. That was really fun. Ah, so that's what it must be like to race in 1926. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it's opened your eyes to the magic that is historic sim racing on a set of courses and turn around and, oh, and like turn around and view the losers. So I've won here. That's actually the first time I've won a Brooklyn. Yes, losers. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed myself there. In fact, actually, I just before recording, I went for a walk uh, on the seafront, uh, on the pier as well. It was a little bit cold, but it was nice just to take a, you know, just sit down, watch the sun go down. Well, it was always down, but. Look at the horizon, look at the lights of the neighbouring towns, including my hometown, Misha, and uh, yeah, it was nice. So I'm in a good mood and this, this felt good. So uh, if you did enjoy that, I encourage you to try this out yourself. I'll leave a link to the mods included uh, in this in this video, including that Google, including this that Bugatti, this the large, this track, and uh, yeah. So go and try this out, so do try this at home, and until the next time guys, I'm uh, not too sure what video I'm going to do next, I think it might be Grand Prix Legends, apart from the historic F1 series, which will be this weekend at Indy, Indianapolis, and then maybe after that Grand Prix Legends, because I know some of you may have been waiting for that. So until the next time guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like subscribe as well if you're new and until the next time stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one see you later